What's up guys and welcome to another pack opening. Now it's Friday, which is awesome in itself, but it's also Friday, so EA released another marquee matchup set. Unfortunately, they threw a curveball at us again and did not give us the Juventus Torino game from Italy, but they gave us four instead of three last week, so that is nice. We have the Derby County versus Nottingham Forest Derby. We have Wisla Krakow versus Krakowia from the Polish League. We have Boca Juniors versus River Plate from the Argentinian League, as well as Jean Buck from South Korea versus America from Mexico from the FIFA Club World Cup, which apparently starts soon. Now the first one, the Derby County versus Nottingham Forest one, actually contains the only player I had to buy for this marquee matchups challenge. The rest, I all had it in my club. The only player was this fellow, Alex Pierce. I did foresee this match to be part of the marquee matchups, but I only bought bronze players and this challenge requires you to have minimum silver quality, so silver or gold, so I had to buy a silver Derby County player. You also need one Nottingham Forest player, which is this guy over here, and apart from that, you need eight English players, so I used a bunch of Premier League team players as well, a bunch of them from the third league, um, but the majority is from the championship. So that's the first one done and we get a jumbo gold pack for completing this one. The next one is from the Polish league, Krakow versus Krakowia. And this one, in this one you see that the bronze pack method really pays off when you get these random uh, squad building challenge games, because you need you don't need anything more than, than bronze players here. You need one uh, Wisla Krakow player, you need one Krakowia player, and the rest just bunch of random Polish players from the league. The only other requirement is you need three different nationalities. So we obviously have a bunch of Polish players. We have one Romanian center back as well as one Serbian center defensive mid. Chemistry is 100 and the rest done. So we get a... Uh, what do we actually get here? We get an all players pack. Third one is from the Argentinian league and it's Boca Juniors versus River Plate. And again, pretty easy requirements actually this week. You need one again per team. I actually used three, I think, from uh, from River Plate. So this guy, this guy, as well as the uh, attacking mid. Um, the, I guess the, the rating was, was a challenge here. I had a bunch of Argentinian players, obviously, but only the ones from River Plate offered the, the rating that was required for this uh, team to make it up to 76. So I actually had to use three of them. Um, I have a Boca Juniors player as well, which is the right back over here, and the rest just a bunch of random Argentinian players to, to get the right chemistry. And we get to 96, we need 95, so fine. we are fine with this one. And we get a premium gold players pack. The final one is the South Korean team versus the America team from Mexico. And this is actually the, I think the most interesting challenge from this week's marquee matchup set. Um, you need one player from Jean Buck, you need one from America, and you can't have more from more than six from a certain league. So the, the formation really helps you here because you can basically split it left side, right side. What I did on the left side is I used Korean league players. I used the best that I had. Um, I had one gold player, two silvers, and I used the two best bronze players. Unfortunately, they did they did fit in the, the remaining position, so the left side fully Korean. And then the right side, there's one America player that's required, which is this guy, uh, Silvio Romero. Um, and I did not have enough uh, players from the, from the Mexican League to get the rating to 75, because you basically have to compensate for the weaker... South Korean left side. So I went with other Argentinian players that had a good rating. We have this guy of 80, we have this guy 78, 77, 73, 77 the goalkeeper. So that is just enough to get us to 75. And uh, the chemistry is obviously fine as well. So we complete the final one as well and we get a premium silver players pack. And with that one completed, we also complete the overall challenge and we get a premium gold players pack. So overall we have five packs that we can open and actually he had just released its team of the group stage. So there besides the team of the week there's another special team out. So obviously perfect time 
to open some packs. So let's go to this door and open them packs. Let's start with the Premium Silvers Players pack. Um, obviously a bunch of League Squad building challenges out there that you want to get good players for. And we get from, we get Maloney, a Scottish player. And the other rare players are from the Spanish League. We get a Nottingham Forest player. Not too bad. Let's see how much he goes for, given that the challenge is currently going on. Let's compare the price. It doesn't sell for much. Interesting. Like a thousand. I saw bids below a thousand. I'm surprised. So let's probably be because he isn't English um, and you need eight out of 11 to be English. So we just keep him for now. We get Jovic from Benfica, which is nice. Um, given that I already completed this team, he doesn't sell for much either though. So let's keep him as well. Um, we get one from the Dutch League. Mexican League so one again from America we just gave one up and we get got one back and the rest just random players from Austria so anyway let's send it to the club and let's focus on the goal packs let's start with the uh, all players pack I guess you have four gold four silver four bronze if I'm not mistaken and apparently we don't get any rare gold one in this one um, as the only rare player is our is a bronze one from the Hearts of Midlothian. Anyway, we get a Major League Soccer player, which is nice. And other than that, nothing good again. We get Norton, which I could have used for the challenge, actually, for the English challenge. So let's send all that to the club and the rest of the transfer list. Again, not a very good pack to get as a reward for giving up that many players from, from the Argentinian League. Um, transfer list for those three and the the couple of English players I had to give up so let's hope we get something good in the remaining packs let's go with the premium gold players pack first 12 items and we get three rare cards um, nothing above 84 though but we get Garcia we get Simon from Montreal and another Nottingham Forest player they just keep coming. But again, he's not English, so he probably doesn't go for much. Yeah, that's a bit for 800, 900, 500. Yeah, we just keep him for now. Um, another championship player. We get down Needle. Not too bad. Probably the best player we've had so far. Um, unfortunately, I already have him in the team. Let's see how, this, how much this guy goes for, given that he's still in the... Nice. 3.7... The bins are around 5,000. That's probably the probably a good player to keep as well for the challenge. And Danilo goes for, I'd assume, a little bit less than that. Yeah, actually quite a bit less, um, around 1,000. So it seems like Simon is the, is the most valuable player we've pulled so far. Let's send him to the team. Let's send those bad boys to the transfer list. And let's open the other. Premium gold players pack. What do we get? Again, three rare cards. We get a Brazilian sentiment. Could be the other Real Madrid guy. It's actually the right, the the other Real Madrid guy. It's Casemiro. Um, we get. He's from Liga Nos, right? Yes, he is from Liga Nos. Another Real Madrid guy. So that's not too bad for upcoming challenges. But again, we lack the superstars. And in cool, we, we can sell for sure so let's send all that to the club and Kulu given that the challenge is ongoing how much does he go for yeah around a thousand probably not even that much but anyway let's send him to the transfer list and open the final pack we get a jumbo gold pack 24 items unfortunately only three of them rare so apparently yeah not even a rare player we get what do we get here? We get a Feyenoord player. We get one from the French League, the Gilet from Nos, which I guess is not too bad. We get Gago from the Boca Juniors. Let's see how much he goes for, given that there's the challenge ongoing. Not too much. Around a thousand. <sighs> well, guys, what can I say? Not the best marquee matchups rewards. Um, given that we only invested 1.5k, I guess, for this 
Irish fella. Obviously worth it because we got a lot of material back that we can use in future challenges or just if the, the weekend leaks have re re uh, requirements again. But obviously no superstars yet. So no team of the week, not even like a, a big flair player. Um, let's send all this to the transfer list. Keep this for now. This goes to the transfer list. And we keep those. Anyway, we're done with opening the packs, guys. Hopefully, you have more luck opening your Maki matchups, matchup packs this week. As I said, they're not the challenges are not too difficult, especially the, the Polish one should be pretty easy. And let me know who you pull. Hopefully it's a better one. Maybe it's even one of the team of the group stage players. Let me know in the comments down below, and I see you in the next video.